Oh my god! Lessons are boring. One more stupid excursion. That's it. No more school. Hi, let me introduce myself. My name's Andrew, and let me tell you how we, at Cell Education, make our courses fun and a real adventure for younger generations from all over the world. At school, it's always so important to have the best quality education possible. It's so important to care how students spend their time and what knowledge, skills and enthusiasm they're bringing back home. But believe me, that's not always a done deal. Here at Sol, we've created a game which is fully integrated into our academic process, and we call it the Sol League. So, what the heck is the Sol League anyway? Let me try to explain. The Sol League is the student's motivation system, which will help to enhance the academic and social programmes at Sol, as well as increase the levels of student integration from different nations. It also plays an important part in helping students gain a passion for learning. As students say, and most importantly, it helps make all our courses, well, let's say, fun. OK, I think that explanation was a little too complicated. Let me try again, and I'll do my best to explain it in a much easier way. So, the Soul League is an exciting and inclusive opportunity for our students to get involved in a global project, where students from all over the world compete to become the course's weekly SUL League champions. Students of different nationalities are divided into four teams with the aim of earning the most points for their house. Now, which house will be yours? Is it the Order of the Pixies, our green team of little mythical creatures? Pixies are considered to be particularly concentrated in the high moorland areas around Devon and Cornwall. Here is Emma, one of our green pixies. Or is it the Poor Beagle's Lodge, our blue team, represented by a poor beagle, a species of mackerel shark, distributed widely in the cold and temperate marine waters of Cornwall. I'm actually a member of this team, and let's be honest, it's probably the best one. Maybe it's the House of Leatherwing, the yellow team. Leatherwing is a modern Cornish dialect word for bat. However, a more ancient Cornish dialect word for bat is airy mouse, which I think is equally lovely, don't you? Here is Patrick, and he's actually a member of the yellow team, the bats. And finally, we have the Giants Guild, our red team of Cornish Giants. It is actually said that Sol's founder, Christopher, is also a giant, and that it's him on the flag of the house. Fortunately, you don't actually have to be really tall to be in this house, but you do have to have the heart of a giant, like Diana does here, in order to become a member of this team. By the way, I think you've noticed that all the names of our houses have some Cornish roots, and it's not a coincidence. Sol is a school which was founded in Cornwall. Many believe the most mythical place in England. Now, let me explain how a student's house can actually win the Soul League. First of all, students are divided into four houses at the beginning of every Soul programme. All students then compete to gain points in five separate categories. The first category is academic achievement. The second category is participation. The third category is language. The fourth category is environmental awareness. And the fifth category is social awareness. Let's go through each category, starting with the academic one. So, who has the brains to be the best? Team members win points by answering questions in class, achieving goals and producing outstanding work. As we see here, Emma earned the point for the Order of Pixies team for producing some excellent work in class. Now, let's consider participation. Students must try to get involved to score points for their team. Try to show your energetic side and get involved in class, in games, songs and activities to gain points for your team. Patrick just won a point for his active participation in a football match. Well done Patrick. Let's look at language. Course. Team members gain points for showing a proactive attitude towards learning English. However, teams will also lose points for failing to use English in class. Hablas Espanol? No? Oh dear, I just lost a point for talking to my friend from Mexico in Spanish. Also, we must consider environmental awareness, uh, which is particularly important at Sol, and especially for you in the Sol League. We look after our environment here at Sol, and we want you to do the same. Recycle, look after your possessions, your classroom, and the school grounds to gain points for your team. But fail to do these things, and you will lose points. Diana here just got a point for the Giants Guild for recycling something. Lastly, demonstrating social awareness. Showing respect and a friendly attitude towards your teachers and classmates is so important, and good manners literally costs nothing. Help a teacher in class or show great team working skills, and you will earn points for your team. 
Although, show disrespect or behave poorly towards the people around you, and you will lose points. Every week, our students compete in order to receive a trophy. Here at Seoul, we call it the Goblet of the Sun. Every week, this trophy goes from one house to another, depending on how many points members of a team get during that week. An interesting fact, no house has ever won the Goblet of the Sun two weeks in a row. But who knows, maybe this year. It's so important to understand that the Seoul League in no way encourages individual competition among students. At Seoul Education, it's all about team building and bringing people together. That's it for now. Let me thank you for being with me through the whole tutorial. Please sign into our YouTube channel by clicking the link in the right hand corner of your scheme, which you can see down there now. I've been Andrew Tapping, and I really hope to see you at one of our exciting programs at Seoul Education. Cheers, goodbye for now, and I hope to see you soon.